My name's Chris, and I'm a Cetaholic. Welcome to Pacific Northwest Outdoors, and I absolutely am a Cetaholic, and I'm really not even that ashamed to admit it. Uh, I'm kind of proud of it, actually. I uh, was uh, online today, and I was looking through um, even some more seeds that I want to buy. I'm interested in maybe some more varieties of tomatoes. Uh, this year, I'm only growing one variety of tomatoes, so I'm looking to maybe expand that and buy some more seeds before we sort of get a little too late in the season. Uh, I'm also looking for maybe some uh, uh, sweet peppers. I've got a number of hot peppers that I'm growing, but I'd like to try some of the sweet peppers as well. So I was looking for those, and it struck me um, as I was looking for the stuff online that I really have a ton of plants already going this year. I have, uh, uh, upon last count, about 240 seedlings already started. Um, and then last night I planted out one of these uh, 18 pot seed starters with two seeds in each pot. So another 36 plants that I started last night. I mean, I've got uh, big beef tomatoes, three kinds of kale, Brussels sprouts, uh, radishes, onions, quinoa, a variety of herbs, um, four or five different types of lettuce. That's probably more than half of the seedlings I have started. Uh, and then uh, some cu uh, cucumber and some butternut squash. So I've got a heck of a lot of things going already. Now last night I was planting out even more stuff. I started some more Brussels sprouts, a different variety, Yves Shan Brussels sprouts. Um, some more cucumbers because the ones that I originally planted, uh, they didn't seem like they were taken off so well. Uh, so I started some more cucumbers, uh, some kakai pumpkins, which I had already tried, but uh, they didn't work out. They, uh, they actually didn't germinate, or one germinated, but then it died. I think I uh, overwatered it. So I'm trying those again. Uh, some more winter squash and some zucchini and some romanesca. So looking forward to that. But with all of these plants going, I mean, I'm planting even more tonight. Uh, tonight I'm looking for some, uh, some eggplants some Washington asparagus from seed. I know this is gonna take a good three years before I see any of those, but gotta get them started sometime. And then uh, I've got two varieties of spinach and then even some more pots that I'll be looking to uh, plant out. So, I mean, it leads me to think like, when is it gonna stop? I don't even really have enough space for all of the seedlings that I'm doing, but I guess if you do more than you need, you can either give some away to people, maybe get some plants in return, or perhaps it'll inspire me to build some more raised beds and uh, get some more compost and uh, all that stuff going out in the yard. So tonight, again, I'm starting some more. And uh, it got me thinking, you know, what do you, what do you like growing? I mean, I know that I'm not the only uh, seedaholic out there. There's definitely more of you. So what are you growing? What suggestions do you have? I mean, it's really exciting to me um, to look online and, and try to find new and interesting varieties of seeds that I can buy. Um, and I'm always open to suggestion. I'd love to try what you found successful, things that you, um, you know, maybe really like a lot and you couldn't live without in your garden that I don't have. Maybe I'd like to try those out. So, uh, especially uh, in the tomatoes and sweet peppers. I'm definitely looking forward to get some more of those started before we get too late into the season here. And are you a seedaholic, like me? Uh, I'd be interested to hear about that. Uh, do you uh, find yourself looking through catalogs and circling different seeds that you want to try and spending, you know, 10, 20, 30 dollars at a time buying seeds and uh, making them last? I mean, look at my seed bag here. This is, this is a good amount. I've probably got about 30 or 40 different seeds uh, in here. And, uh, and I try to get them all planted out within about two years. I don't want those seeds to go bad. so. Got to keep, uh, keep refreshing it and getting new seeds in. So just a quick video, something I was thinking about. I'm definitely a seedaholic. Are you a seedaholic too? If you are, it's nothing to be ashamed of. In fact, I'd love to hear about it. And all right, thanks for watching. I'm gonna get back to planting. Hey everybody, this has been Pacific Northwest Outdoors. My name's Chris, and if you liked the video you just saw, please click the like button. I would really appreciate it. If you'd like to see more videos, please click subscribe. Thanks again for watching, have a great day, and cheers.